the health needs of any group of people will change over time, when the makeup of the population changes or when there are new challenges to face. To make sure that we're always tuned in to what the health needs of the borough are, organisations in Blackburn with Darwin work together, drawing information from different sources to give a clear picture of the health and well-being needs in the area, working to create the Integrated Strategic Needs Assessment. An Integrated Strategic Needs Assessment is a way for the council and all its partners who have to provide health services to understand what the needs are of the community in Blackburn with Darwin. Blackburn with Darwin is one of the most disadvantaged boroughs in the whole of the country. Uh, we're the, the 17th most disadvantaged borough overall. But within Blackburn with Darwin there are significant differences in terms of level of health inequalities. So what the Integrated Strategic Needs Assessment enables us to do is understand the health needs of differing communities within the borough. Very, very different between places like Suddle in Darwin, Shadsworth uh, up in Blackburn, and places like uh, Pleasanton and, and, and Libsyn. We try and involve as wide a range of partners as we possibly can. And on our leadership group, we have uh, senior people from the police, from the local college, um, from our health colleagues and partners, from the council and various different departments within the council, and also from the community and voluntary sector. And it's really important to have that spread of uh, professionalism within our approach to developing strategic needs assessment because each of those different organisations see health and the impacts of health in a completely different way. Integrated needs assessments focus on a single topic. Recently, Blackburn with Darwin Council has worked with partners to understand issues such as the local impact of dementia and isolation and loneliness in the older population. Age UK has been one of the partner organisations in this work. We, through the 50 plus partnership that we coordinate, have been doing some work with our partner agencies, working with older people through workshops and focus groups to actually talk to them about what will make a difference, what does need to be put in place to reduce social isolation and loneliness. And we've got some really valuable um, information and data from, from those conversations we've been having with older people that will feed into um, future planning and, and service uh, planning and delivery. But it's really about looking at what people are telling us and now the gaps and working together as a partnership to look at trying to fill those in the coming months. Using workshops and focus groups is key to ensuring that the research properly reflects the views of communities in Blackburn with Darwin. So focus groups are a really good way to talk to a small group of residents about a particular issue and understand from them how they see um, the condition, what it means for them as individuals and how they perceive the services that are provided to support them with that particular condition. And there is evidence to show that the Integrated Strategic Needs Assessment is having a real impact in the community. We've recently undertaken a Strategic Needs Assessment for loneliness and isolation. And as a result of that, we're employing three community health workers who are going out into communities, working with community associations, residents on streets, to identify people who may be experiencing loneliness and isolation, and really then trying to work with them to help them to manage their own health and improve their contacts within the community and the connections they've got to reduce those levels of loneliness and isolation. So this has been a really good example of the way that the ISNAs have been a direct impact on the lives of people in the borough.